Hello, Ginong White here. Ang tuturo ko sa inyo ngayon ay related sa dalawang phenomenon na ito na nakikita nyo. So, yung first picture natin nakikita mo yung pusa um, facing the mirror. So, katulad din ng pagharap mo sa salamin. Paano nangyari na yung uh, mukha mo ay nakikita mo sa harapan ng salamin? Same is true with pag nilagay mo yung lapis sa baso ng tubig. Pagka tinignan mo sa side ng baso, eh, parang naputol yung lapis. So, itong dalawang phenomena na ito ay dahil sa behavior o paggalaw ng waves, particularly light waves. So, yan ang pag-uusapan natin today, which is the behavior of waves. So, ano nga ba yung mga behavior of waves? Magsimula muna tayo sa what we call as law of reflection. Since yung unang picture na pinakita ko sa inyo ay um, related sa reflection, ang sinasabi lang sa law of reflection is that the angle of incidence of a wave is equal to the angle of reflection. So, ibig sabihin nito na yung angulo ng wave na nagta-travel um, towards the mirror, once nag-bounce off yung light, will have the same angle um, na mag-reflect from the object, which is yung salamin. Which is why ang, ang definition ng reflection is pagtalbog ng wave once tumama ito sa isang bagay. In particular, yung example natin is yung sa salamin. So, when a wave strikes the object and bounce off, that is called reflection. So, all types of wave can be reflected tulad ng sound in terms of yung echo. Right? Pag nasa itaas ka ng bundok, for example, yan yung echo na narinig mo once sumigaw ka and then it repeats itself. So, it's called echo. Meron ding reflection sa tubig. So, pagka humarap ka, let's say, sa swimming pool, you can see a reflection. And of course, sa salamin, which is your light waves. Another example din ng um, reflection is yung pag, um, paggamit ng sonar o pag-detect ng bagay sa ilalim ng dagat. And that is reflection. Now, meron pang dalawang concept that talks about behavior of waves, which is your refraction and diffraction. So, ano nga ba yung refraction and diffraction? So, yung pinakita ko sa inyo earlier na yung lapis parang naputol when you look at the side of um, the glass of water, it has something to do with what you call refraction. So, usually... Yung refraction nangyayari yan when the light bends and as it moves through a medium. In particular, sa, um, in this particular scenario, sa tubig. So, once nag-strike yung light sa tubig, it causes the object to kind of look bent or parang bumaliko because of um, the way the light refracted, kumbaga. So, that's the behavior of waves in this example. And of course, the greater the change in speed, the more the wave bends. And of course, as a result, nakita natin na parang naputol yung lapis. Now, another behavior of wave is what you call diffraction. So, yung diffraction naman, um, it causes the ob uh, the waves to change direction. So, imbis na tumagos yung wave and then lumiko, which was refraction, yung diffraction naman causes the wave to change direction. So, hindi siya tumagos, but instead, bumaliko. Now, both refraction and diffraction causes the wave to bend. Pero, ang pagkakaiba niyan is yung refraction... Tumagos, tulad nitong example nung 
um, lapis um, sa loob nitong cup of water. And of course, yung diffraction on the other hand is pagtama sa isang opaque object or object, let's say for example, itong cellphone tumama yung light, then it will pass around and it bends or lumiko. So, kumbaga, pagka nag um, shine ka ng flashlight sa, let's say, sa wall, for example, the light waves is diffracted. And of course, pag lumiko siya, of course, it's going to strike through, uh, not through the wall, but it pass around the object and bend. Now, the last um, behavior of waves na pag-uusapan natin ay ang interference. So, ito yung paglalapat um, ng dalawa or mas maraming waves. And there are two um, types of interference. The first one is constructive. So, pwede natin associate ang construct sa pag paggawa. And yung destruct, uh, destructive naman is pag-destroy o pag in short, ng to undo the waves. So, visually, ito yung explanation dyan. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, merong dalawang waves na same direction, and if they um, bump into each other, of course, it creates a bigger wave. So, kaya siya constructive. Parang gumagawa ka ng mas, mas malaking wave. Now, yung destructive naman, is pag-destroy ng waves. And if you notice, two opposite waves will cancel the wave, thus, of course, having zero amplitude. And of course, mas maintindihan natin yan if you go back to the types of waves and of course, the parts of a wave. So, it's worth visiting that video. So, let's um, just recap of what we learned today with um, the behaviors of waves. So, pinag-usapan natin yung reflection. And of course, your refraction, which is the example of our phenomenon. And lastly, diffraction, which is sort of the same as refraction, only the diffraction part is hindi tumagos yung light, but instead... Um, it bends, and it did not go through the object. And of course, lastly, the interference, which is, of course, um, regarding um, constructing more waves, paggawa o pag-destroy ng waves. So, I hope this is helpful in understanding behaviors of waves, and kung meron kayong tanong, just comment below and remember to subscribe. So I'll see you in class. Bye.